Clean code in JavaScript, variables. I'm going to be sharing some guidelines to make sure your variables are readable, reusable, and refactorable. The first thing is to use meaningful and pronounceable variable names. You can see in this example, var, yyyymmsdstr equals moment dot format, so and so on. Instead of calling it yyyymmsdtr, just call it year, month, day. So this variable is a lot more meaningful and you can easily pronounce it. Uh, the next thing is use ES6 constants when variable values do not change. We have var first US president equals George Washington. Instead of using var, you should use const because the first US president is always going to be George Washington. The next thing is use the same vocabulary for the same type of variable. If you have um, three different functions or variables, we have get user info, get client data, get customer record. Let's say these are in different parts of your program. Well, it, it's all basically the same thing. A client can be considered a user. A customer can be considered a user. You should call these the same thing in each part of your program. So we're just going to get rid of those two, and we're going to make this just get user. Get user. You don't have to say um, get info, data. Well, we know it's going to be data. So we just call them get user in every part of your program so it's easier to remember what you used. The next thing I want to talk to you about is use searchable names. So if you look at this function, or this, this for loop, for var i equals zero, i is less than um, 525,600. So what is this number here? What does that number mean? It's actually better to put it right in your program what, what that number means. The truth is we will read more code than we will ever write. So it is important that the code we do write is readable and searchable. So we're going to declare what this variable means um, in a capitalized var global. So we're going to put and then just change this to now it's a lot more obvious what what that's supposed to be in the program and as an added benefit of it being more readable it's also more searchable if you want to search for that number in the program if you can't remember the exact number which you probably will for in this case but if you can't remember it you can just um, search for the name of the variable next thing I want to talk about is to use explanatory variables so if you see this const city state regex and then this whole um, regex thing and then save city state city, city state regex dot match city state regex and you just look at all this whole thing so there's a way to make this a little more readable because so what is this thing right here and what is this thing what if we could just make this into a variable let's just work backwards I want this to be city and I want this to be state now we have to go and fill these in so we're going to do so you can see uh, it's doing the same thing except it's just breaking it down a little more so it's more obvious what's happening first we're trying to find the the match and then we break it apart into city and state and then when we call the function it's more obvious what we're passing into the function okay next up is don't add unneeded context so if we look at this whole thing um, var car equals car may conda car, car model accord car color blue and we call the function function paint car 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 dot car color equals red so look at this part right here car dot car color so we have a repetition we have car and we have car again right here, car color. So when you are um, storing the car make, don't call it car make, just call it make, because we already have car right here. And then for model, just call it model. Car color, just call it color. And then down here, you can just call car.color. And then you won't have to repeat yourself, just unneeded context. Let's go down a little bit more. Um, the last one I'm going to talk about is short circuiting is cleaner than conditionals. So let's look at the bad example first. The function create microbrewery name, var brewery name, if name, then brewery name equals name, else brewery name equals hipster brew company. There's a way to make this a lot quicker. If we can just take this whole thing out and make this into a conditional. And that's it. So this whole thing was this this conditional here was the same as that whole thing before. So it's a lot cleaner. It does the exact same thing, and it's easier to read. It's easier to understand. Well, thanks for watching JS Nuggets. My name is Bo Carnes. If you check the description, you can see a link to what inspired this video. Don't forget to subscribe, and remember, use your code for good.